What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training. And today, we're going to be talking about the best press release you guys can use when you have to run a fade. So we're going to be talking about an inside shape press covers DB when he's on the goal line, what we know he's going to do, and what his responsibilities are. So I hope this video helps you guys out, teaches you a few new things about press releases and how you guys can create as much separation as possible. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you don't want to find yourself losing your speed, losing your explosiveness, your strength during the season, because a lot of you guys I know are in season, check out that very first link in the description below for our in-season 28-day wide receiver receiver gym workout plan. So what is all the specific exercises wide receivers need to do during the gym? College coaches, when they come to recruit you in the winter, they don't want to see that you've lost strength. You're taking a step back. So if you guys want to be able to maintain that explosiveness, strength, and hit peak performance on game night, check out that very first link in the description for a four-week long schedule that you guys can do throughout the season to help you guys keep that strength and keep your speed. Let's get started with this video. Very first link below. So first thing we look at here from Mike Evans is he does a great job of attacking this DB's leverage. He doesn't do too much. It's not a real complicated release. Just something simple to the point to get him open on this goal line fade. So let's talk about this. Why is this DB inside shade, right? So DB's inside shade because he wants to protect the inside. He wants to force me to the sideline. He a lot of young receivers, what they'll do, a lot of novice receivers will just take off right now. They think that okay, this DB's inside shade. I could just beat him outside. I could just beat him to this back pile, and I'm just gonna go run, maybe give him like a single move to the inside. I'm just gonna go, right? I'm just gonna beat him to the outside because I'm faster than him. That's not how we gotta do this thing, because that's exactly what this DB wants. The DB wants us to take off so he can get right into my hip, force me to that sideline and uh, Brady whoever's throwing us the ball whoever my quarterback is doesn't have any space to give me a chance we got to create a chance for my quarterback so Evans does a great job of attacking the leverage of the DB so now I said in this thing we're going to talk about the best release you can use there's really not one release that's going to work in this situation and a bunch of releases that won't work it's really more so about whatever you do just make sure we attack the leverage of the DB make sure we are squaring him up and make sure we are keeping him honest and threatening him with this slant right you guys might have seen this before that Mike Evans clip we talked about it yesterday we broke it down on this page where he ran a whip route, right? So on that was on the goal line. So if I could threaten him with a whip route, if I could threaten him inside, make him believe that I might just be taking one step inside, that can get me some space, right? So when I come at this DB and you see how Evans does a good job of changing his tempo, gets this DB to be real flat-footed because when I change my tempo, DB's also going to change his tempo. So just make sure, fellas, that we are attacking a DB's leverage when he's inside shade and I have to run an outside breaking route, especially like a fade route, right? So again, maybe you could throw a little bit better of a move. Maybe I could square him up in this situation and really hit him with this one, two, and step outside of his frame. But the most important thing is square him up because his job when you square him up is to keep his leverage inside. And all that does is create more space for you. If you guys to accelerate out, burst off of that cut, keep your head down for a couple steps and make this play. It's a perfect example for Mike Evans of how you guys can run a fade and one of the best ways to run a press release against on a fade route against an inside shade DB. Let's watch it again, full speed. Great job squaring him up and then just giving them that little shake to the inside, creating space for himself so he could accelerate and make that play. All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I always appreciate the feedback. Always appreciate the things you guys have to say. I definitely appreciate it. And again, fellas, if you want an in-season, four-week-long wide receiver gym plan, all the specific exercises you need to do to maintain your explosiveness, speed, power, strength, all the above broken down to a set schedule with sets, repetitions, check out that very first link in the description below. Hope you guys can check that out. It will really help your game. Stay at the level it's at during the season. I'll see you guys next time.